As we get ready to start the Xfinity Series race on this Labor Day weekend from Darlington. Right away, the 19 of Denny Hamlin tries to give way. And Cole Custer takes advantage of it, goes right around on the outside and moves into the second position. Here's the eight of Josh Berry, still winless in 2023, with Daniel Hemrick in the 11 on the outside. Yeah, he's been racing hard. Oh, oh, my goodness. Hemrick, Hemrick about gets sideways. Hemrick and the eight of Josh Berry had a terrible corner exit of turn four. The 11 is the first car to keep your eye on right here. Up against the fence, the car starts to swing the back. He needs to correct, but he's got Josh. Wow, they slapped together right there. Josh's right rear quarter panel gets into the side of the 11. Have changed. They're just losing grip. Now watch Larson try to tag this eight car. He's going to take this spot easily from Josh. Just a whole lot quicker through the corner right there. And he tried that high entry into one to set that pass up to be able to get underneath the eight car in turn two. Yeah, trying to leave. Turn four and goes the throttle up and the car just comes around on him. Here we go, great shot. Yeah, this is on board the 45 of Rajak Roots and he, he's waiting on the 18. He, he got a little slide job there and he's just kind of waiting on the 18, but the 18 gets really loose, arrow loose. Sliding up in front of the 45. Yes. Marty, what you got on the 18 car? So now it's Nemechek, Custer, Hamlin, Allgaier, and Larson, the top five. Custer on the outside, Nemechek on the inside as they get ready for the restart. And again, John Hunter Nemechek jumps out front to a two car length lead. Almost spun out. Hemrick, big save. Don't know if Algar got in the wall right there. Three wide now. Down into turn three. Hill on the inside in the 21. Hemrick right in the middle. And Allgaier in the seven on the outside. And now here comes Josh Berry. He puts the front bumper to the back bumper of the seven. It's on the inside of the 24 wow. here. Loose turning down in. I, you know, the car just got out from, out from under him. And... Down on the racetrack, down on the apron now, out of the way. There it is, right front tire got flat. We saw the saw contact Williams had with the wall in three and four, drove down the front straightaway into one, pounded the fence with the car. Caution's out early here. Probably some debris on the racetrack, so the caution comes out. It looks like that is going to end stage one. Is there are just three laps to go in the stage. Yeah, that was, a, it was only one point. Uh, Chandler Smith had just got by Riley Herbst. So Riley Herbst was struggling big time. Perkins scored 30 seconds, the first car a lap down, and this will be John Hunter Nemechek grabbing his sixth stage win this year, second most, his second stage win at Darlington. So Nemechek wins stage one, and Kyle Larson already in the top five. Stage two underway. Austin Hill got a terrible start right there. He was controlling the race and enters turn one in third place. Great restart for Cole Custer, who jumps up to second. On board with the 27 of first. All clear, good on board camera looking back at the 91 of Ross Chastain. Three, and here you go. Austin Hill getting that great track position from his pit crew. Done a nice job, Heim, of driving back up through the field. He's running the 15th place. Here we see Denny Hamlin making the pass on Allgaier. This is where I think that experience, even as experienced as Allgaier is, when you talk about cup drivers that have so many laps here. John Hunter Nemechek. Trying to put the 53 of Matt Mills a lap down as Matt Mills running 32nd. But out of turn four, John Hunter Nemechek is going to sweep the stages here in Darlington. He's done it one other time, and that time he went to victory lane. So we'll see if he can rinse and repeat. 
as we see Hemrick staying in front of the 48 of Parker Kligerman, and that means that Kligerman does not get a stage point. Let's see what he can do. And big for Riley Herbst to be up there on the inside of row two. Ten laps remaining at Darlington. John Hunter Nemechek with a great restart. Austin Hill diving into turn one. Not going to be able to get in front of the 20, and John Hunter Nemechek takes the lead away again. Austin Hill's got good forward momentum. Let's see what he does when he gets into three. Is he going to use him up? Slide up the racetrack. He does not. In front. Just a lap ago, Nemetrek was right in the back bumper with an opportunity to take the lead. Now, trying to fend off this challenge from the 19. How aggressive can Denny Hamlin be with his teammate? He wants to overdrive the corner, slide him up the racetrack. He goes. Nemetrek tried to slow down to cross him back over, but just gave up too much speed. Around goes Parker Kligerman in the 48. Can he keep it off the wall? Caution has not come out yet. And now it's out. Drivers need to learn, and this is definitely a mistake by the one. It's something he'll need to learn from. Yeah, you can see he drives. He drives away from the nine car, getting into the corner, and gains on the 48. So it wasn't like the 48. The 20 of John Hunter Nemechek pressuring now one more time around. The fight for second is on, but Denny Hamlin trying to check out. John Hunter Nemechek to the inside of Austin Hill. Hamlin with a six car length advantage. Denny Hamlin is going to make it six at Darlington. Six times to victory lane. Good job there, man. Hell yeah. Go ahead and get that switch back up. Do some burnout here. Good job, man. That changes the playoff picture a lot. Over the past couple of years, Denny Hamlin has gone from being well liked amongst the fans to now it almost is an equal amount of booze that get rain down from the grandstand. 